Welcome back everyone. My name is Pertesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to go throughout the entire process of being able to vote on your favorite proposals for Project Catalyst. I'm also gonna be talking about some frequently asked questions. Many members in the community just have some questions as it relates to voting, uh, what the process looks like. Um, could you go back and change your vote? Uh, how are the rewards paid? So things like this, we're gonna be discussing all of that here in this video. If you guys are interested in that type of content, make sure you drop a like for me. And if you wanna stay up to date with all the relevant Cardano news and how-to content, make sure you hit that subscribe and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. So to start things off, I just wanted to briefly touch on a few key questions that we've been seeing from members in the community. So I've got some notes here. I've just got this written down on my cheat sheet. Um, all this information is gathered from the Project Catalyst town hall meetings, as well as the IOHK Zendesk articles. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Dor Garbosh. He is the project manager for Project Catalyst. He's been doing an incredible job with coming out and giving these weekly town hall meetings really learning a lot from attending all of these meetings. So all the information that we have gathered here in this video, as far as the frequently asked questions, it's gonna be from those town halls. Um, as far as one of the most common questions as it relates to voting, so we see something called voting power in the Catalyst application. So what is voting power exactly? Now, when you went through the process to register to vote, what you had to do was scan a QR code, either in Daedalus or Uroi, using the mobile application, and you had to decrypt this with a pin code. So when you have voting power, essentially what that is, is the amount of ADA that you held in your wallet at the time of the registration balance snapshot. So a bit of technical jargon there, but essentially what it is, it's kind of like a one-to-one. -one. So the ADA balance that you had is gonna represent a one-to-one -one equivalent value to your voting power. Now, as far as the vote and how it's going to work, so let's say for instance, if you have 5,000 ADA in your wallet balance at the time of the balance snapshot, you'll receive 5,000 as your voting power. So when you vote on a proposal, let's say if you like a proposal, let's say if you wanna support it and you give it a thumbs up, so let's say if you give it an upvote, your vote is gonna give that proposal 100% of your voting power. And the same is true also if you downvote a proposal. So let's say for instance, if you see that there's a proposal that doesn't necessarily align with this specific funding round, or maybe you don't like the mission that they're trying to solve or whatever the case may be, whenever you downvote that proposal, you are also downvoting with 100% of your voting power. So something to keep in mind as it relates to the effectiveness of your vote, uh, whether you vote up or down, it's gonna count 100% of your voting power. Now, let's say for instance, if you decide to vote for a specific proposal, but then later on down the line, you change your mind. So one thing that's really cool about this specific funding round is that you can go back and you can change your vote. And you can do this however many times that you like to, at least for this specific funding round. Uh, and that's gonna happen all the way up until the end of the voting time period. So you do have some time, you know, you can kind of go through and do your research and figure out which proposals that you'd like to support. If you do end up changing your mind, you you can definitely go back and change your vote and the vote that counts is going to be the final vote that you submit. So just some key things to think about. I know with Project Catalyst, this is kind of like the early testing stages of this really incredible experiment. They had actually come out in one of the Project Catalyst town hall meetings that now Catalyst is the largest decentralized innovation fund in the world. So we're part of history. I mean, it's just incredible to be along this journey and to see the evolution of this entire process. Um, another question is gonna be, can you submit multiple votes at the same time? And the answer to that question is yes. So just like how you would vote for one specific proposal, you can do that for multiple proposals. And the same is true where 100% of your voting power will count towards that proposal, whether you vote up or down. So that is another question that we've been receiving a lot of. Um, and just a fun fact, I know we're kind of going through these questions here. Uh, but for those of you who participated in the incentivized test net, so one thing that you might notice is that when you go and submit a vote, there isn't any transaction fee. And one thing I learned that's really cool is that the voting process is using the Jormungandr blockchain. 
So I thought that was really fascinating. Uh, I was able to take part in the incentivized test net along with some other really incredible community members uh, to see that the project Catalyst is taking advantage of the Jormungandr blockchain. I think that's really cool. So there are no transaction fees to be able to submit your vote. Um, so I think that's awesome. And then as far as being able to submit a vote, so you do have some time. There's definitely no rush to do this. So there's three weeks to vote. Uh, you've got some time. You wanna make sure you ask questions. Um, Myself personally, I'm gonna do my best to make myself available. Uh, I actually plan on going live probably this weekend, maybe tomorrow. We're gonna take a look at some of these proposals, you know, just have a good time. We're gonna give out some space coins. So you definitely wanna be sure you can join us for that if you can. It should be a really fun live stream. Uh, you know, take your time with this, research these proposals, um, have fun, you know, just see what's out there, see what you'd like to support. Uh, voting is gonna end on March 24th at 1900 UTC time. So a few weeks to be able to vote. And then another key question, I know we're gonna receive a lot of of is rewards so you know luckily with voting it is an incentivized process so there is definitely some incentive there for you to get out there and vote for the future of this project uh, fund three the total treasury fund for fund three is half a million dollars worth of ADA and as far as the voting rewards that will be paid to those who participate in voting so 70,000 US dollars will be paid towards those who vote now, as far as how rewards will be calculated, so it's gonna be based on your individual voting power divided by the total voting power participation. So as far as how you're going to receive your rewards, it's directly proportional to the amount of voting power that you had uh, in, in coordination with the total overall participation. So just a few key frequently asked questions that we've been receiving. I hope I did a good job of explaining that. Of course, if you guys do have any questions, I'm gonna do my best to make myself available. I know it's quite a bit with all the cool things that are happening here. Project Catalyst really leading the charge as it comes to innovating for the growth of the Cardano blockchain. So as far as going through the entire process to vote, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna take a look at the Catalyst voting app on my mobile device. So we are looking at the Project Catalyst voting app on my mobile device as far as logging in. So this is gonna ask for that pin code that you set when you went through the process to register to vote. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and enter in my four digit pin code. After you went ahead and entered in your pin code, we can go ahead and click on continue. So taking a look at the main dashboard, here we are inside of the Catalyst voting app. On the left-hand side, it shows us our voting power. So the voting power is gonna be the equivalent to the ADA that we held in our wallet balance at the time of the snapshot. Next after that, it shows us our total rewards on the right-hand side. Currently haven't been paid any rewards for voting just yet, but we should see that on the right-hand side of the application as well once we're paid. One thing to consider also is that voting rewards, when they do get awarded to you, they will be paid along with the staking rewards. So you'll receive that at the end of the epoch whenever those rewards are distributed. Now let's go ahead and take a look. We're just gonna explore very quickly this application and I'm just gonna go through the entire process of what it looks like to vote. What we can see are the listed challenges for Project Catalyst. Now, the ones that we are talking about for this specific voting round for Fund 3 is gonna be DAP creation and the developer ecosystem. So between those two, we've got 250,000 and 250,000 with a total of 500,000, so half a million dollars of funding for these proposals. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and tap on DAP creation. There's quite a few different proposals in here, so definitely feel free to go through this, take your time and see what is going to work for you as far as the proposals that you feel like will bring the most value to the ecosystem. I know a lot of people are looking at liquid finance, so let's go ahead and tap on one of these proposals. When we do tap on the proposal, it'll show us the requested amount in dollars. It'll also show us the review score, so how relevant it is to the mission statement for this proposal. If we scroll down, it gives us more information related to the problem it's addressing, the solution, uh, the relevant experience of the proposer. So lots of cool things here. Definitely take a look at all these proposals and see which ones are going to be ones that you like to support. Now, if you click on this blue tab, it shows see complete proposal and discussion. What that's gonna do, it's gonna take you to the cardano.ideascale website. So really just giving you more in-depth information as to what the proposal is aiming to solve. 
But now in this instance, as far as a proposal I would like to support by voting, let's go ahead and tap on the green thumbs up. So I wanna select this proposal as one that I would like to vote for to get funded. So your positive vote is not processed yet by the blockchain, okay, no worries. What we're gonna do next is go ahead and tap on my votes. And this is gonna show us the proposals which we have selected to vote for. So in this instance, it shows that we've selected the liquid Cardano DeFi liquidity pools. So let's go back to these proposals. So I went ahead and tapped on back. We're gonna to go to DAP creation. Now, once we have selected a proposal, as we can see that the name of the proposal is now gray. So we've already selected that proposal. So that's a good way to be able to tell which ones you've already looked at. A uh, next one I've looked at is from Kyle Solomon from Frog Stake Pool. So he's doing some really cool things with IoT. He's got his Adoja ecosystem being built out for Cardano. I think that's really cool. Um, no solution exists to enable arbitrary IoT IO actions as a result of receiving payments in ADA. So things like vending machines, gated access, automation, really cool. I'm a big fan of IoT. Uh, so Kyle Solomon doing some incredible things there with Frog Stake Pool and Adoja. I definitely want to support him and see his proposal get funded. So let's go ahead and tap on the green thumbs up button. Same thing here. We've got the notification saying this positive vote is not processed yet by the blockchain. So we'll go ahead and just tap on the blue my votes button and it takes us back to my vote so we can see all the proposals that we have selected. So that is essentially the process of going through and choosing these proposals. So let's go ahead and take a look at some more from the developer ecosystem. So we see here quite a few others. We've got more liquid. We've got a .NET library. This is Cardano Sharp. So some tools made available for developers who are able to start building on Cardano. Uh, ABCD, uh, we've got Joshua Akpin. So doing some things there with Africa. So definitely wanna make sure I can support them. Let's go ahead and tap on that one. Africa has brilliant minds that are full of ideas and energy, but who lack access to the infrastructure and funds to realize their dreams. So I really wanna make sure that we see ABCD get funded. Let's go ahead and tap on the green thumbs up button. Back to my votes. So you guys see the workflow here. It'll take you back through to my votes. And let's go back to the dashboard. And you just gotta go through and select these proposals which you'd like to see get funded. Now for me personally, I don't really see the need to necessarily downvote a specific proposal. I mean, unless you really feel like it goes against what the proposal is aiming for or what the funding round is aiming for. Uh, but what I would suggest is, you know, you can definitely go through all this, just select the ones that you'd like to support and upvote. Uh, anyone that I don't necessarily vote for just won't receive any of my voting power. So I'm not necessarily going to hold anybody back by downvoting them. But again, that's completely your choice. It's totally up to you. So that is the entire process, guys. Let's go back to my votes. When we are ready to cast our votes, we're gonna simply just tap on the blue cast my votes option down at the bottom. It's gonna ask us to authorize our votes by typing in our pin code. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in my pin code. After you've went ahead and typed in your pin code, we can go ahead and click on confirm. And it's gonna say votes submitted to the blockchain. So your vote has been sent and is processed by the blockchain. Very cool. So now guys, like we were talking about during the beginning part of this video, you can certainly go back and add to your votes if you decided that you would like to look through some of these proposals. I know I'm definitely gonna be doing that. But for the sake of this video, just to show you the entire process and the workflow of taking a look at some of these proposals and how to go about voting. So guys, lots of cool things as it comes to being able to vote on your favorite Project Catalyst proposals. I was scrolling through some of these proposals on the mobile app and you can just keep on scrolling. So it's really amazing to see the amount of innovation that is happening for the Cardano blockchain. There's so many things that are happening now as we see the growth and the further development of this ecosystem. So really cool. Definitely be sure to get out there and vote for your favorite proposals. You've got until March 24th, 19 UTC time. That is when voting ends for Project Catalyst Fund 3. That is what I have for you all here in this video today, guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did find it valuable and informative. If you did, please be sure to drop a like for me and make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you stay up to date with all the relevant Cardano news and how-to videos. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.